Thank you for joining us for First Coast News at 5 on this Friday and first tonight we need to turn our attention to the tropics. Yeah, the tropics are busy with several storms turning, but we are keeping a close eye on tropical depression 9 currently strengthening in the Caribbean. Governor Ron DeSantis has declared a state of emergency for several counties in South Florida. We have team coverage tonight looking at what this could mean for the first coast if it heads this way. Let's first get a check of the most recent forecast with meteorologist Amelia Henderson, who's in for Tim Deegan tonight. Yeah, absolutely. This is the most recent update from the National Hurricane Center with the cone heading exactly where we thought towards Florida here, and it is looking to strengthen potentially becoming Tropical Storm Hermine by late tonight. And if it does continue to strengthen as anticipated, especially with the warmer water closer towards Florida, our next big name hurricane by this weekend. So here are the three things you need to know here. The big three still it is over 1300 miles away. We have time to start preparing, especially with the sunshine, the nice conditions over the weekend. You have time to prepare. Florida, as you just saw, is in the cone, likely in its path. Watches and warnings for here is home at home, likely by Tuesday with the biggest impacts by Wednesday and Thursday. So let's take a look at some of the models. The GFS that's in pink here. It is moving more north, but really most of the models are aligning again with definitely Florida in its path. So we are expecting again by Wednesday and Thursday the biggest effects here. A whole lot of rain in the forecast as well as strong winds. So that is what we are definitely anticipating and need to be preparing for. So you need to keep updated. Of course, it is still at uh, Tropical Depression 9, likely to strengthen into Tropical Storm Hermine by late tonight, if not by tomorrow. So how do you stay up to date? The National Hurricane Center does put out updates every three hours. You can keep up to date not only with us here on air, but online, firstcoastnews.com.